Hey everybody, Chase at Advantage One RV, and I just had this 1999 F350 with 187,000, well, just over 187,000 miles, just land here at Advantage One RV. And this thing is an absolute tow monster. It is hard to find them like this, folks. Uh, like I said, 187,000 miles. Uh, this has actually been, this is a one owner, a title truck. Uh, you can see, you know, just a little bit of rust at the, you know, bottom of the uh, the doors there, um, because over on the passenger side, I'll show you over there too. There is a little bit of rust on the bottom side of that door, but this has a, been a Michigan truck since day one. Um, you know, it's it's got all of the the tow capacity that you probably need uh, with the, you know, being a dually. You got the 7.3 uh, um, diesel engine in this, which that 7.3 is probably the best diesel engine that Ford has ever put together. Um, also, uh, it does have a 100-gallon uh, auxiliary fuel tank. So you can go ahead and fill that thing up here in Michigan. You hook on your fifth wheel, and you can make it all the way down to Florida on uh, one tank, essentially one tank of fuel. Uh, because the folks that own this, I actually just sold their uh, fifth wheel last year and last summer, and uh, it is time now to sell the truck. But they uh, they would fill the fill the whole rig up, and here in Coldwater, Michigan, and they could haul the fifth wheel all the way down to Florida, where they would go uh, without pretty much without stopping. They could just stop at a rest area, you know, make a sandwich, something like that, get back on the road, and and get back down there faster. Uh, it does have 16k fifth wheel hitch already installed uh, this uh, particular truck actually does have airbags so right here at the back there is ports at the back of this that you can fill these airbags up to give you more uh, tow capacity there uh, because you know with that 7.3 engine you got all the power in the world you just might need a little bit more payload it is a 10,000 pound payload capacity uh, on this truck, so uh, you know, so that's why they put the airbags on. Need you know, they probably just need a little bit more. They towed around about a 34 foot uh, Jayco Eagle fifth wheel, and uh, um, <laughs> this truck just pulls uh, that type of trailer beautifully. But like I said, a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, rust there on that side of the door, but other than that, I tell you, I've even thought about buying this truck just for myself. I'm a huge Ford fan, always will be. I bleed that. Ford Blue, that is uh, actually ever since I can remember. <laughs> That's always the brand that I've always went with. Uh, but you do have some of the uh, clearance lights there on top. Gives you that trucker feel. Um, you know, everything underneath the hood uh, definitely is tip-top shape. Um, you can see that's a newer interstate battery, actually, that they uh, just installed uh, about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, so this thing is absolutely ready to go. You can see here I do have a, a little rubber mallet holding up the, the gas struts. They're a little bit weak. Um, it started falling down just slowly, so I just went ahead and, and uh, propped that up. That way you guys could take a look and see underneath the hood. Um, give us a call. 517-924-1850. Uh, Gene and Stu in our sales office, they definitely can answer any questions on this for you. And, uh, you know, this definitely somebody could save a ton of money on a big tow truck uh you know instead of you know going out and buying something new right now and plus you might have to wait on that beast this one's all ready to go 187,000 miles that's just getting broken on that diesel engine so here at advantage one rv of cold water 517-924-1850 also one thing I, I failed to mention is the rubber um i, I gotta point that out before we end this video uh, but the, these uh tires there is tons of tread left on these tires and uh, these were also just replaced here recently so um, just to kind of give you another added oh well, we're down here let's go ahead and show you what the frame looks like underneath too because you know there's a little bit of rust up here in Michigan we have a little bit of salt on the roads but overall this thing's in great shape so um, you're gonna have some of that on a 1999 I'm surprised the whole body hasn't you know obviously Ford hadn't hasn't gone to that uh, nice aluminum body yet uh, here in 19 with the 1999 so you'll have a little bit of that rust here here and there uh, but i tell you this one's been taken very well care of you just don't find them like this anymore so i hope everybody uh, has a safe and happy day 
And uh, take care out there. Have an A1 day. <laughs> I take that back. I just took the mallet out and it's still standing.